Alright, so today we're gonna compare two gimbals from Fayutak, the Vlog Pocket and the Vimbo 2. And I gotta say, these two are really good for vlogging, but I think they're meant for different types of vloggers. So here's what I mean, the Vimbo 2, the biggest feature for me is the extension, so therefore you can actually show more of yourself and include more of your friends and family in your vlogs or pictures. So it's like a gimbal and a selfie stick all in one. You can easily get low angle shots or high angle shots, and it's just more comfortable to hold and use. There is a textured grip on the handle so that makes it so much better to hold and my fingers and thumb doesn't feel so cramped when I'm using the buttons or joystick. And one more thing about the extension is that it makes my arms less tired. Without it, my arms are usually sticking out within like 30 seconds or so I can actually feel it like getting tired. So having it extended all the way makes my arms actually lean against my body more so therefore I'm using less muscle. For example, if you are a skateboarder who really needs those low angle shots, having an extension makes it so much more useful and handy. And if you are a vlogger who don't really like having the camera so close up to your face, then the extension will be so much more helpful to you. So that's why the Vimbo 2 is like the better gimbal for that type of vlogger. Now one of the biggest cons for me about the Vimbo 2 is that the motors does not lock. I know the second version, the Vimbo 2S, they have locking points so they fix a lot of things about that but this one is the first version. Now for the vlog pocket, the biggest feature for me is being the size. I can basically bring this anywhere and if I'm putting this in my bag, it literally takes up no space. So if I'm filming somewhere in a city where there's a lot of tourists, a lot of crowds, or even in tight spaces like night markets and such, I just feel more comfortable shooting with the vlog pocket than the Vimbo 2. For the stabilization, I wouldn't say it's the most smoothest or not as smooth as the Vimbo 2, but for, for it being so small, it's more about bringing this with you and just capturing your moment and showing your story. My next point I'm going to bring up is going to be a pro and a con at the same time. The pro is that it has locking points, so as I'm walking around the city, I can actually lock some of the access so it doesn't flap around. And a con is that it's kind of slow to set up and put away, because I would have to unlock every single access to actually get it to work, and as I'm putting it away, it's even more confusing because I would have to go in that specific direction. If not, then I would potentially break it. So for the next version, I hope that they would simplify some sort of way to unlock or lock this stuff, or even show a direction or an arrow pointing which way I would have to twist just to easily put this away. So that's my experience using these two gimbals. One gimbal is not better than the other, one just do better in certain things than the other. For me, I use the vlog pocket way more often just because I can bring this anywhere with me. Even though if I can leave my bag at the hotel, I can still bring the vlog pocket with me put it in my pocket and still have some sort of stabilized shot. So if you are a traveler, I would say the vlog pocket is going to be the better choice because you can just put this in your pocket, go and capture your adventures. But if you are going on a family vacation, then I would say the Vimbo 2 would make a better choice just because you can extend it and show more of your friends and family. Both of these gimbals do make a really good choice for any type of vlogging, but it's just specifically what type of vlogging you're doing. So that is my opinion with using these two gimbals. Please follow me on Instagram, give a like, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.